Hello guys, welcome to my next Notion API in Series Shortcuts tutorial. In this video, I will teach you how to automate relations using Series Shortcuts and Notion API functionality. Um, if you like this video, make sure you, you hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future. So let's get started and the first thing uh, I will show you the database and what it, what it has. Like in general, it's a simple database that has some basic properties you can easily automate with shortcuts, as I showed in the previous tutorial, and I have some relation properties. So, uh, wouldn't it be able? Uh, wouldn't it be cool if you would be able to uh, get all the pages from a related database, choose one of these, and apply relation to the, this, this page in the new record. This is all possible with, with this uh, shortcut and I will show you this uh, right now. So let's run the shortcut. I'll add a new item called test. The price will be 56 for example. Um, next it does some processing and look at this, have which one uh, selection prompt. But I didn't show you what uh, pages I have here in account a relation property. So if we go here, as you see, I have the same thing here: cash, Mastercard, and Visa. So just for just to show you, I'll, I'll add also PayPal. Why not? So you will see that it uh, doesn't need additional setup setup when you add another property, uh, when you add another page to related database. So I'll add test, I'll add price, so uh, let's say 45. And look at this, we have now PayPal here too. And we also have cash, MasterCard and Visa. So I'll choose cash this time. And there you go, we have a new record added and we have related page in accounts, one link page. Awesome. So let me show you how to uh, create a shortcut to do exactly the same thing. And let's get started. So uh, right at the beginning, I want to, I want you to make sure that you have invited uh, your integration to the database you're going to work on and uh, you should also uh, invite the integration to the database you have uh, uh, you are you have this database related to like account in this case because as you see let me go here accounts three dots you see connections shortcuts and it, uh, it's also right here. So make sure you have both of the databases uh, conne uh, connected with integration and because this, uh, because otherwise shortcut won't work correctly, if it will work at all. So let's try to create a new shortcut. We won't need Notion for now. So I'll uh, add a new one. Uh, the first thing uh, you need to do is you need to grab uh, the information, uh, the shortcut need for the API processing and for uh, sending requests. Uh, so the first thing I'll get is my Notion API. And I do this by getting value from data jar. So, uh, as you see right here. Uh, and this is the same as getting uh, putting text field and writing your API right here this is this is the same so don't worry about about that if you in case you have you have a data jar but I recommend you to have this application because this can save you a lot of time like in my case I just written down uh, what uh, value for which key I want to get notion API and it will get this value immediately for me for uh, some convenience, I will set variable 
uh, key to this uh, value so I can get more find uh, this value easier in the future uh, when I have like more actions to, uh, it will be easier for me to find this key uh, next thing I'll add uh, date so that I will format current date and date format should be ISO 8601 don't don't include a uh, include time it's not necessary leave it like that oh sorry you have uh, you have to put uh, do this again format date uh, current date don't change anything here just close this uh, window unfold this and go to date format and choose ISO 8601 this is the correct way to do this do not include ISO 8601 time and also I'll get some basic stuff like ask for input ask for OS item also let's add ask for input with um, a number ask for number with a price also I'll get we need to, to get the database URL uh, and get uh, and get a specific part from it so let's add text field and database url so i'll go back to notion go to three dots and click copy link i'll paste it right here and the part we need is between this slash and question mark so this is what we need And also for more convenience, show I'll uh, name this uh, expenses database ID like that. So we have no database ID. We have no shin key. We have some uh, inputs to the shortcut. What else do we need? Uh, well, I think that's basically it for now. So uh, all we need to do now is to automate relations. So the first thing I'm going to do in this shortcut I will is I will uh, retrieve the database. And what uh, what does it mean? It, it it means I will get all the information about the database. I will get information about its properties and uh, including relations and it, it will give uh, what's convenient about this uh, uh, request is it will give us the ID for related database and that's super cool for us to have so get contents of URL and what we need to do uh, what's the URL is HTTPS um, colon double slash api.notion.com slash v1 slash databases slash and put here expenses database id so the uh, request url is completed now the method method is get so don't change it go to headers and we need to add two headers right here the first one is authorization okay previous tutorials uh, as you may saw as you may see uh, we have authorization and notion version so the authorization is bearer and key sorry it's bearer key and notion version 2022 0628 if I'm correct 
Okay, let's launch the shortcut. Uh, it doesn't, uh, it's, it's not necessary to build these wells. You uh, will be asked like whether you allow to send one item to Notion, api-notion.com. You click always allow. Now let's see what it shows us. So yeah, we have, rec we have response. We don't have any like, issues. We don't have errors, API errors. That's awesome. So the next thing you should do is essentially this response is a dictionary. And we need a value from this dictionary. So I'll get a value, a dictionary value for key. And the key is properties dot then you need to input the name of your relation property. In my case, this is account. So it, it, its uh, name is account, and you need to write the same thing in shortcuts, like uh, account dot. After the next dot, you need to type relation dot and database, database ID. So if you run this again, you will see that what it will give you is this ID and it's uh, this ID for related database. And I will also set a variable called related database ID. What we need to do now is, um, like, let's think about it. We need, we've got the ID for related database. We need to cho choose one of the pages in it, in this database. So the good way to get these pages is to query this database because the querying uh, allows us to get all of the records, all of the pages in a specified database specified by ID and this is what we have now this is what we have acquired so why not to do this and let's go get another uh, get contents of URL action clear this go there and let's put another request so https uh, colon double slash api .notion .com slash v1 slash databases slash accounts so we have this related database id slash query so it, it's almost the same you can just copy this from the top one to save your time on writing these authorization and notion version headers it only adds this slash query thing So I'll unfold this. The method, however, you need to change the method. Make sure you change the method. So here's get, uh, this is get, so we can close this. And when we have query, it's post. Now let's add another time these two headers. Conversation, bearer, key. I think of there is a notion version. It's 2022-06-2028. Done. And close this. In this uh, query thing, I will save you time on doing research. So what we need to do is we need to get value. Another t one more time, we need to get value for uh, this time results and under these results we will have all these a list of dictionaries essentially and each of these dictionary will stand for the page with uh, its inf information about it so we have uh, we can ha we will have multiple things here and the cool way 
to do the same operation on uh, multiple items is to use a for loop in like uh, re in traditional programming and repeat with each in series shortcuts because it will allow us to iterate over each of these results and get a spe uh, again uh, the information we specifically need and what we need we need the ID of uh, the page and its title for the prompt. So let's uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to get value for ID. Now let's get uh, now and again I'll set variable related page ID to this uh, value. And also, let's get value for. Uh, let's get value for. Now we we'll, we are going to get, and make sure it's not related page ID, because it sometimes uh, actions in series shortcuts can uh, fill their fill the arguments themselves automatically. So you you don't necessarily need to trust them all the time because. Sometimes automatic isn't correct. We need repeat item all uh, repeat item two. So we're getting value for uh, properties. Dot name. Dot title. Dot one. Dot plain text. Not test, but text. And I'll also set variable related page title this the next thing i will do is uh, i will combine these like i've got value for id and value for a title from one of the pages and i need to combine these two together so i use text And this is uh, like the beginning of, uh, of composing a dictionary. We need to add two quotes, quote unquote, and column, quote unquote. And in the first, the first field, it's like a key value pair essentially. You can you may recognize a key value pairing these. So I'm composing a dictionary to get value for a, a page title later. When we select a, a page, we, will, uh, we are selecting from titles, but we don't need a title for the request, for the feature request, we need an ID. So this title will stand for this ID. I hope you understand my explanation, so let's try to I'll use uh, not not ID. Look, look, we need related page title, and here we need to put this related page ID. So you should have it like that. Then we uh, then we will um, exit this repeat loop and look. Uh, we need a text. But, uh, but before, we need to combine action. Yeah, we need to combine. We need to combine these repeat results with, it will be a uh, new lines, so will be the default one, uh, default combination method, but we need custom and comma. So we are, this way we are combining the values, uh, the combining these uh, results together. And to complete this dictionary, to make this look correct, we need to add two curly brackets and combine text in the middle. 
this is not like a, hand, a handmade a dictionary and that will uh, help us to select a related page now what we need to do is we need to choose we need to choose from list action and it will have text by default but you can click on it and you need to change the type uh, that you need to select dictionary then after you have selected a uh, dictionary type uh, select keys over here so you will have it like that choose from keys you can you you can set up your uh, preferred uh, prompt I will use choose page question mark close this so right after you have selected a page you basically selected a title and we need to get value for this title in this handmade dictionary let's get value for the value for again clear this all so get value for chosen item in dictionary and the dictionary is this text and make sure you you select the correct one so you can use the reveal reveal action to see what have you said so this is correct to avoid any issues so once we got the value and this value is basically this id so um set variable Um, so we have related page ID here so uh, let's, let's just rename these to page title page title and page ID because these are not not related yet and it's not correct to call them this way oh, and I set a variable relation related page ID like that and that's uh, we are almost there we have almost uh, done almost done the next we need to do is we need to text and get contents of URL action so get contents of URL uh, the final uh, request URL will be like this default uh, create page URL so HTTPS colon double slash API dot notion dot com slash v1 slash pages unfold this the method is post the headers are there are there are going to be three headers so you uh, may not be familiar with this technique I'm going to use right now this is really interesting and it will uh, we will use another uh, third-party application for for creating a request JSON so authorization bar key you see this is this is really cool because I have all my um, created variables in this top bar. So if I uh, if I didn't set a variable this key, uh, key to value, I would have to like go all the way to the top and select this variable. So it saves some time, and I recommend you to uh, set variable to the stuff you're going to reuse so let's go add our next header it's notion version so it's 122.06.28 and another key another key will be content type and it's going to be application slash json 
then in the request body you need to also choose file and the file will be this text so they will be as you see they will be connected and once they are interconnected you are going to go but it's we're not we're done we're not done yet we need to create request uh, JSON so I'm gonna use JSON application for this because Serious Shortcuts has some issues currently with creating a request body with uh, like JSON like the way we did before when you like, you leave it like that and you add a new field dictionary like, super easy way but we are going to use file because it's currently less buggy and will basically do, do the same thing if not faster so JSON you can download this for free on App Store it's, it has some paid uh, features but they like you can use just the free version so you're in JSON, it will have this interface like this, like and they identical to files app. You need to find create document button simply just uh, hit create document and select root of documents. Uh, select document button, it's going to be dictionary. We are here, it's all blank currently. We'll fix that uh, right now. So I'll uh, the first thing I recommend you to do is hit this button to create a new split. And I'll use this TXT. Um, you may have it. Uh, but differently. But this is what we're going to do. Um, then click plus right here. Because we need, uh, we are creating request a URL. The first thing we usually do is we have parent, dictionary parent. As you see, it's also created like this here. Open parent, hit plus, and we're going to use text. Oops, you have multiple data types there. So we have text and use database ID and save it. So do not specify database ID because we will uh, put a variable in between those qu quotes. In between those. Okay. Here we are. So let's go back. You can uh, go back through these uh, breadcrumbs. We have added, added parent. Let's add another dictionary now. So this is going to be properties. Like this. Open this up. Add another dictionary inside here. The first one will be name. This is the first one. Then we'll get. We need to add array inside called title. Then add dictionary. Then another dictionary called text. And add a text content and save. So we will also fill this with a variable later in shortcuts. Properties, we have name. Uh, so the next property that we're going to set up is uh, date. Let's use date. Dictionary, date. Uh, I'll add date dictionary inside plus here and start leave it for now good now we add plus 
mount mount is number so addition amount plus number and zero so it doesn't allow you to leave it empty so you need to put some some value here zero go back to properties and we the last thing we have to we have left is account of course if i hit plus one more time account it's a dictionary go inside and another dictionary called relation inside and this uh sorry relation is not a dictionary so just delete it and add add it again so relation is array because you have you can have multiple relations multiple related pages and i'll add a dictionary and i'm going to add the text is ID and leave it empty for now. So this is our request uh, JSON. All you can do is you can just select all, select it all like that. Let's try it this way and paste it in this text field. Like that and let's fill out the data so parent database ID this parent database ID is like our expenses database ID the name uh, the title is going to be this provided input and we need to go all the way up to select this here's item provided input now date Formatted date, number, amount number. Let's use provided input and relation ID, ID for related page. Related page. It's going to be related page ID. Good. So now we have this set up and let's test out the shortcut. So I'll put Notion in here. Let's run this and see how it goes. 67 price. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Let's run this again. So item, it is test two. Price thirty four. I will always allow. Now we're going to choose a page. So as you see here, I have a list of these pages. I'm going to choose PayPal. And hit always allow. There you go. If you did everything like I did, if you follow this tutorial, you will be able to do this. As you see, I have this account selected really cool thing it's it's awesome i like this shortcut and i hope hopefully you'll like this too and include you will include this in your workflow in your uh, notion workspace so hopefully guys you'll like this video if you like please uh hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future so for now have a great day and have fun with shortcuts